Hi everybody, my name is Nikki Jensen and I'm a wheat-free transformational coach and a wheat-free culinarian. And today I'm going to be doing a Tuscan kale salad. And I absolutely love kale. It's so, I don't know, rough and tough and just full of vitamins and minerals. And so right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking it off the coarse vine or deveining it. And then what I do is I just shred it. And in this salad, you get really, just, I don't know, you just get down and dirty <laughs> with the salad just because your hands are in it. You really, there's not much chopping to do. Uh, the ingredients are super fresh. On the salad. And I'm going to show you a way to make kale uh, go from coarse to soft. And the, the trick of it is, I'm using a really small bowl here, but what you have to do is you have to really exercise the kale. You gotta move those enzymes around in the kale to make it soft. So all you're doing is really massaging the kale over and over and over again. And then it becomes like really nice, like, like a lettuce, but better. Because you still get that really nice crunch with the kale, but then it's not so coarse, and you're still able to eat it being raw. Lots of people eat, you know, cooked kale because it's too, it's too coarse. But it goes from, you know, this. Now, on the, we're using a curly kale today. There's different kinds of kales that you can use, like a lancinato. But today, we're just using a curly kale. And so you just really want to massage the kale over and over and over again. Keep breaking it with your fingers. Keep putting lots of love into the kale. And it breaks down the cell walls of the kale. It becomes really nice. And you just really keep massaging it, keep massaging it. it kind of gets a little bit messy, but the more that you massage it, the more it breaks down. And I think this is really kind of a sexy dish just because it's, it's really beautiful. The colors are absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I'll just show you really quick. That's it broken down. And so then we're going to be adding some Parmesan cheese. and some pumpkin seeds with some carrots. And the carrots are diced. You can do a shredded carrot as well. Now we're going to be adding some sun-dried tomatoes. Oh, it is so good with the sun-dried tomatoes. I can't even tell you. All right, then we add some olive oil some balsamic vinegar. This recipe will be, will be up and ready for you guys to go ahead and prepare it at any time, so don't worry about that. Just a little bit of pepper, not, not too much. And then just take this and then just massage it with your hand. It's all about getting in there and working the ingredients. Super good. make this and try this dish out because it is really, really good. Really good for you. So I'm Nikki Jensen and please comment below and message me if you have any questions about any of my ingredients that I used or about my services. Take care and have a great day.